Right now, opponents of fracking are meeting face to face with state regulators over recent earthquakes that could be related to deep wastewater injection wells. Good evening, I'm Lee Jordan. I'm Leon Bibb. These wells are springing up across Ohio. While they promise jobs, some say they are health risks. News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos is in Youngstown. Tracy, there is a big concern there. Yeah, Leon, you know, it sure is. It's controversial for sure. And for the last hour or so, we've seen a steady stream of people coming in here to go to that meeting on a topic that has rocked the community. Hydrofracking is the headline grabbing, controversial issue that nearly everyone in Youngstown and in many parts of Ohio seems to have an opinion about. It ain't no good thing, no. I think it's scary because they're not sure what's going on. The state imposed a moratorium on drilling within five miles of this well after a 4.0 earthquake rocked this area nearly two weeks ago. It is the 11th earthquake since March within two miles of this well. I can go back 62 years and there's never been an earthquake before that. State Representative Bob Hagan wants the moratorium extended until questions are answered. He says it's not just about earthquakes, but chemicals too. And he says some cities like Pittsburgh have strict rules in place against hydrofracking. And now, he says, Ohio is dealing with a toxic problem. Benzene and toluene do cause cancer. I do know that the radioactivity that they found in some of the water, the, radio, uh, the radioactivity in, in Pennsylvania, uh, certainly causes cancer. They're claiming, the industry's claiming it's such a low dose that it wouldn't. Uh, that's BS as far as I'm concerned. The company, DNL Energy, will not go on camera, but said in part in a statement that, quote, without credible scientific data to aid in the understanding, we ask everyone concerned to reserve judgment about possible causes for the seismic activity and DNL's injection well. And you know, this issue doesn't just interest people here in this county. Fracking is taking place in a number of communities across the state, so it is being watched statewide. The meeting goes until 7 o'clock. Reporting in Youngstown, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5. Thank you, Tracy. We'll have more on tonight's meeting this evening on NewsNet5.com and on tonight at 11 o'clock.